everyone, this is the third and final update on my Vol Ground Slam Juggernaut build for Path of Exile Sanctum League. Uh, we're now just starting week two, um, and we've gotten to the end game. I made a few tweaks from last week, and uh, I think the build is in basically its end game state. Uh, there's not a lot more room that I can improve. Um, so I'm going to go over that real quick. Uh, basically what happened was we updated our gear a little bit, tweaked it, and now we can kill a few uber bosses. Um, I have killed Uber Eater, and based on my experience last league, I could probably get Uber Cortex and Exarch down. Um, but the other four, I have no idea. So uh, what's going to happen is this will be the final update video. But uh, as others have requested, I will probably uh, put out uh, in the new year a complete build guide on how exactly I would run Volground Slam in the future. Uh, and it's likely going to go something like League Start Berserker. Uh, swap to Juggernaut if you feel like you want to be more tanky, stay on Berserker if you want to do more damage. But either way, both of these builds work totally fine, and both of them have killed at least three of the seven Ubers. So um, for a you know more casual player, uh, I'm happy with that. And I think it's not like too difficult to play. There's a lot of buttons to click, but uh, it's pretty straightforward once you get up to the kind of damage that we're at now. Um, so that's, you know, laying the cards on the table, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, in the future, I'll have more detailed videos going over exactly what the build is, how to, you know, approach League Start, etc. Um, that you've kind of been missing out. <laughs> uh, these videos are more conversational, and uh, that's kind of how I like it. Uh, when I think about doing a, a League uh, launch, like, build guide or whatever, I, I kind of give up. So um, we'll see how I feel moving into the new year, but that's the plan. Um, now I'll go over exactly what changed from last week. So... Uh, at some point, I was dabbling in adding an additional curse into the build. Um, that curse, obviously, for the highest damage will be Assassin's Mark. Uh, but there is no Assassin's Mark on hit on rings anymore. Um, they got rid of that a long time ago. So the only place I could get it was the Oscarm uh, gloves, which in this case would make our build a lot harder to kind of like fit in resistances. So overall, we've taken a massive hit to resistances and... Uh, We've, we've also kind of lost the point of using Anomalous Arctic Armor um, because you need to use the gloves uh, Eater Implicit for the Prolif. So it made me, it, it was kind of this uh, domino effect where I changed around a lot of my build. So, um, number one, Oscarm Gloves for Assassin's Mark on crit or on, on hit. Uh, and then we have to have the Hunter Chest body piece in order to get the Apply an Additional Curse. Um, on that body uh, armor, we also have uh, just plus uh, attack crit. So that, that chest piece is going to be pretty pricey to get. Um, I just rolled it with fossil uh, crafting, I guess. I don't know. It was, it was pretty straightforward to dump a bunch of currency into and, and pull off. But uh, I don't know how easy it would be for the average player. Um, then we're doing uh, swapping off of death rush. Because if we're doing ubers, you don't need adrenaline after killing mobs that don't exist. Uh, it's only one boss, <laughs> and uh, you're not going to be having adrenaline uptime at all, so we're swapping off of that to Circle of Guilt, um, and then Circle of Guilt obviously implies that we're swapping off of Arctic Armor into uh, Herald of Purity. Um, and again, I'll, I'll put all those on screen so you can kind of see, I think it's like three or four changes in a row, uh, but what it ends up doing is like doubling our damage. <laughs> And uh, that's incredible for these Uber fights. It's also really incredible for Sanctum. Um, since our last video, I've cleared Sanctum multiple times. I've cleared the secret boss multiple times. Um, and even though we're melee, we're kind of crutching it. Uh, I might also do a full uh, Sanctum record eventually. Um, so you can see kind of how I approach it, how I play it. But uh, again, we're, we're hitting, I'm trying to see, yeah, you know. Uh, we're getting close to the holidays. Uh, I'm going to be taking at least a week off. Um, but in the new year, I'll come back with a, a few videos, I think. Uh, I might even, you know, level a new character, do a new build. Not really sure on that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this league has gone. I'm really excited if the uh, GGG uh, adds more mechanics like the Sanctum moving forward, because I really enjoyed it. So, um, hope you guys had a great league. That's going to do it for me on the sort of more dev log or like progress log on my character this league. Um, but expect more content uh, Pee-wee related moving forward, either in the form of a build guide in the full Sanctum run, or uh, me just kind of experimenting with like what different content I like making. So uh, thanks for uh, watching the past three videos. I'm 
slowly just dumping, you know, boss kill videos as well. So eventually I'll put out the Uber Eater uh, kill, which was a dude, that fight, especially when you're on melee, that, oh God. And I don't have a, a blink. So I was just trying to leap slam through the tentacles and shit. That, that fight is a mess. So um, if you thought my earlier kills were a hassle, these ones, even though we doubled our damage, it's still a nightmare to do. <laughs> so uh, I will catch you guys later. Uh, have a happy holidays. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the near. Peace.